See the screen. God. Oh, cause you know. You know this shit automatically like softens your skin. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, man, it's a real love. The best, the best part, part of Halloween, Halloween was trick or treating at Rockville Center because they always gave like king sized candy out. Yeah. They were like rich over there. What is this called again? La Sala y tu casa. Or, yes. La Sala. La Sala. <laughs> la sala we are casa. getting food. La Sala y tu casa. I'm this with Izzy Rivana. Yes, sir. How are you doing? And we're on our way to get some food. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The cat. You had Game of Thrones, and I was like, okay, I need to find mine. Well, you, you have mad shows to watch. What do you mean? I'm like, I watched one show by myself, and I was oh, I need to have my I own. I need to have a show, too. You have shows. I just started watching shows. This is the first show I ever watched by myself, ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas can't do nothing. I actually cannot. Yeah, I'll probably watch it. Actually, oh. you know what? No, I'm not watching it. Are you actually, sure? I will watch it, but don't spoil it. Oh, my God. I hate when people be spoiling shit. <laughs> like, I gotta hide the tweets from the new Game of Thrones shits. Uh, Dragon bullshit, I don't know. It's like oh, a yeah, sequel. The dragon. And they saying that it's good, but like, they be posting memes and shit. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to see no spoilers. You think you're, you're, you're like, being in like three years is gonna remember Yes, that. yes, my memory works like that. It's called context clues. You know how that shit works. So you start looking out for whatever they're talking about. Exactly, it's like a subconscious thing. It's like it's like when you're watching something. I remember I used to watch anime, and somebody would be like, "Oh, the ending is fucking crazy." Da da da. So now it's like now I'm anticipating something that ending. I wasn't already anticipating. Or somebody would be like, "Honestly, the ending was kind of like you gonna see, you gonna see." And it's like, bro, you you making me anticipate something that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say anything. 
Then I turn. Uh, no, I'm not gonna see a fucking thing. You better hope that shit don't slide off. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> Mr. Lon C. Blood on my car key. Ex drug dealer front cover of your Wow, well, look at his look piercing and how it healed so fucking nicely. It's I didn't even say it's not even done yet. Guys, I had the most traumatic time ever with my lip piercing. It like it felt like it was like oh shit. It felt like it was like strangling my actual lip. And turns out it was like it was actually splitting my lip in half and causing an infection. So I had to take that shit out. It was so bad and disgusting. Um but I actually do want to try getting it again, which is crazy, but yeah. Like, they're actually in water. Without your phone. Guys, this would literally be is as a fish. Like it literally looks like it needs like just a lip ring. It's a punk fish. <laughs> photos right now i feel like i look absolutely bizarre but literally every time i fucking do my do my hair it's like disgusting I definitely need to bring a brush. Anytime I put these damn beauty supply shits in, I need a brush. So, that will be done. And. Guys, I literally just got to the event. So, I am currently at this. I want to move this back a little bit more. I'm currently at this private viewing for my friend Wole. Um, 
some of you guys may know his brand it is called against medical advice it's pretty cool and again i feel like when people invite me to events that are special to them i kind of feel honored and inclined to come so i did invite a few people to come with me and is is isms in fuck not me trying to like fix the fit right but okay basically nobody was free or wanted to come or could come so i am here i, mean, I should be meeting jada later on because we're gonna go hit the club for one of my friend's birthdays which should be fun but right now i'm here on my own and i am excited guys a little gust of wind in new york and it's fucking fall like i'm not even joking it is absolutely fall right now like hat up jacket on didn't even give y'all the fit but we're here so yeah let's get the into the event i have to pee so fucking bad the event is open bar i win and it should be cool calm event i'm excited and i'm excited that i actually came by myself because uh, guys it's a little bit brutal sometimes when you want to socialize like when you're wanting to have people to experience it with and people are not free it sucks but we're here so i am um, i did my quick check we're gonna go in and get this shit I needed this. Okay. I don't usually smoke. But today, baby, I needed it. Life was very much trying today. And my therapy appointment is tomorrow. So, can you picture that? I was on edge all day. And I feel like when you're really centered and one thing kind of turns you upside down, you like lose kind of that peacefulness or like that kind of tranquility that you're used to so when you lose it you kind of you kind of just need to regain it a little bit and um i won't lie to y'all i have not been smoking like that like i normally would i normally would smoke it not that i would deliberately smoke it on my own i literally just smoke on occasion with others but today i had to go out my way and find some weed okay life is getting pretty hard guys so i just left the first bar i don't have any water on me right now i have water in my trunk i'm on my way to the next spot the pluses about going out alone is that you never know where the night might take you. So, I met up with my friend Kaya, who you recently seen, and she was going to the Dumbo house. There's um, this installation there. Um, I wish I didn't drive so I could catch a ride with her, but it's cool. We're gonna go um, and see. It should take us about like 20 minutes to get there from here. So, we are going to meet her there. I think from there, I'm gonna do like one more. Oh my God, going places alone means you can leave whenever. Like that's beautiful. Cause I'm like, yo, I might go over there and once they leave, I might go to like my last event of the day and cap it after an hour. Like I got a bedtime guys, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not doing it. And then I could go home like so i'm like boring now <laughs> Who you should 
on it. I'm not waiting. Yeah. You should have worked on it. You know, I actually have been wanting to practice my model walk. You should. Would you, would you walk? I start laughing. <laughs> One bus the win. Oh my god, Gabby, why would you oh, let it leave you? Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Gabby, why would you let it leave you? Start up with that bikini. Alright, hey guys. We are going upstate today for a quick day trip. I'm saying day trip, but it's really a project that I was hired for. Um with creative direction. She's changed her location to upstate, which is really fun. So I'm going up there with my friend Liz, who you may have seen in the Arizona vlog. We are going together and she does her own creative direction as well, which was pretty cool. So we'll be able to like help and assist. So right now I'm here picking her up and then we'll be on our way. It's like a two hour drive, which is fun. It's like a road trip. I want to get this photo in. The process of a good photo. Oh my god, yo, you know what's crazy? I'm talking to y'all like y'all are dead ass right there. But Ism got casted for this um, fashion show next week, which is so fucking cool. So I can't wait. Actually, it's not even that. It's not even next week. It's this Friday. And he has a show on the 12th. There's a lot going on, but it's fun. Everything that is fucking life is fun at this point. Where the Yo, didn't I tell y'all that if I come to somebody's house or crib, like if I pick y'all up, I will clock you. Like I'll look at the time, then I'll look at our messages, and then I'll be going back and forth. Oh wait, she's right there. <laughs> no. Nah. Hello, darling. Hello. Okay. To the lights. <laughs> I just need to get gas. So absolutely motherfucking beautiful. So how are you feeling? absolutely fucking beautiful now <laughs> <laughs> bro oh my god one thing i hate is mosquitoes like you see it no where oh gosh <laughs> It's me and 
we meet. I'm sorry. I just saw this weird looking story. Actually, not even weird. One thing you gotta know about me, guys. Weird is like my word for cool, but whatever. I saw this cool store. I didn't even know what it was. I was trying to read what it was. I can't even tell you. I am going to get lunch with my friend, um, Splurge. And then afterwards, Ism has a runway show later on in Brooklyn, which I am going to catch and show you guys. I'm like really excited today while I'm out the house, one. And two, it's just, Ism's been wanting to model forever. So like, this is like the first kind of embrace into that world. And I am excited for him. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I tried some new shit with my hair. Um, pretty sure it looks nutty, but oh well. I'm gonna come like, I have my Vet Mods hoodie on right now. And then I have like these sweats. But I think like after I get lunch, I'm gonna change it to my actual outfit. Which is pretty saucy, I'm not gonna lie. But y'all know me, like every time I hear like any type of event or anything going on, like... Um, I'm there overdressed like I got a whole bunch but that's kind of like my vibe right now so um oh god I'm like who the fuck is this I don't know who the fuck that is but I'm hungry I'm fucking hungry it's your boy Adriana Splurge. Yeah. I have ill fried rice. <laughs> in the flesh. Pure chaos in the car. My time management skills are a little off. And I just got here to the fashion show, but the doors close at 8.15 and it's 8.01. No, it's 7.50. So I'm just trying to like look like I left the house for the first time. Damn it. Finally finished. I'm wearing my Vetmons hoodie. I'm wearing my homage bag. I got my skirt on and then I got these heels that Windsor Smith Windsor Smith sent over. I know I butchered that. They are so motherfucking cute. Okay. Now let's just hope I can walk in these. Okay. And we're gonna go now. I've been trying to call I've been on my own for long enough Maybe you can show me how to love Maybe I'm going through a drought You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby
fast and you doing what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you doing what you want. What do you want? Look like Tyler Berry But she 